CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 3 Playing with Numbers Part 2 Page 51 3.3 .3, Prime and Composite Numbers We are now familiar with the factors of a number. Observe the number of factors of a few numbers arranged in the table here. We have a table with three columns. Column 1 heading is numbers. Column 2 heading is factors. Column 3 heading is number of factors. Let's read the table row-wise. 1, 1, 1. 2, 1, 2, 2. 3, 1, 3, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 3, 5, 1, 5, 2, 6, 1, 2, 3, 6, 4, 7, 1, 7, 2, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8, 4, 9, 1, 3, 9, 3, 10, 1, 2, 5, 10, 4, 11, 1, 11, 2, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12, 6. We find that A, the number 1 has only one factor, that is itself. B. There are numbers having exactly two factors, 1 and the number itself. Such numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, etc. These numbers are prime numbers. The numbers other than 1, whose only factors are 1 and the number itself, are called prime numbers. Try to find some more prime numbers other than these. C. There are numbers having more than two factors, like 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, and so on. These numbers are composite numbers. Numbers having more than two factors are called composite numbers. 1 is neither a prime nor a composite number. Is 15 a composite number? Why? What about 18? 25? Without actually checking the factors of a number, we can find prime numbers from 1 to 100 with an easier method. This method was given by a Greek mathematician, Eratosthenes, in the 3rd century BC. Page 52 let us see the method. List all numbers from 1 to 100 as given here. We have a box here with numbers from 1 to 100 written in 10 rows. Step 1. Cross out 1 because it is not a prime number. Step 2. In circle 2, cross out all the multiples of 2 other than 2 itself, that is 4, 6, 8, and so on. Step 3. You will find that the next uncrossed number is 3. Encircle 3 and cross out all the multiples of 3 other than 3 itself. Step 4. The next uncrossed number is 5. Encircle 5 and cross out all the multiples of 5 other than 5 itself. Step 5. Continue this process till all the numbers in the list are either encircled or crossed out. All the encircled numbers are prime numbers. All the crossed out numbers other than one are composite numbers. This method is called the sieve of Eratosthenes. Try these. Observe that 2 multiplied by 3 plus 1 is equal to 7 is a prime number. Here, 1 has been added to a multiple of 2 to get a prime number. 
Can you find some more numbers of this type? Example 4. Write all the prime numbers less than 15. Solution. By observing the sieve method, we can easily write the required prime numbers as 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and 13. Even and odd numbers. Do you observe any pattern in the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 and so on? You will find that each of them is a multiple of 2. These are called even numbers. The rest of the numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and so on are called odd numbers. Page 53 you can verify that a two-digit number or a three-digit number is even or not. How will you know whether a number like 756482 is even? By dividing it by two. Will it not be tedious? We say that a number with 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 at the ones place is an even number. So. 350, 4862, 59246 are even numbers. The numbers 457, 2359, 8231 are all odd. Let us try to find some interesting facts. A. Which is the smallest even number? It is 2. Which is the smallest prime number? It is again 2. Thus, 2 is the smallest prime number which is even. B. The other prime numbers are 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and so on. Do you find any even number in this list? Of course not. They are all odd. Thus, we can say that every prime number except 2 is odd. Exercise 3.2 1. What is the sum of any two a. odd numbers b. even numbers 2. State whether the following statements are true or false a. The sum of three odd numbers is even b. The sum of two odd numbers and one even number is even c. The product of three odd numbers is odd. D. If an even number is divided by two, the quotient is always odd. E. All prime numbers are odd. F. Prime numbers do not have any factors. G. Sum of two prime numbers is always even. H. Two is the only even prime number. I. All even numbers are composite numbers. J. The product of two even numbers is always even. 3. The numbers 13 and 31 are prime numbers. Both these numbers have same digits 1 and 3. Find such pairs of prime numbers up to 100. 4. Write down separately the prime and composite numbers less than 20. 5. What is the greatest prime number between 1 and 10? 6. Express the following as the sum of two odd primes. A. 44 B. 36 C. 24 D. 18 7. Give three pairs of prime numbers whose difference is 2. Remark. Two prime numbers whose difference is 2 are called twin primes. 8. Which of the following numbers are prime? A. 23 B. 51 C. 37 D. 26 9. Write seven consecutive composite numbers less than 100 so that there is no prime number between them. Page 54 10. Express each of the following numbers as the sum of three odd primes. A. 21 
B31, C53, D61. 11. Write five pairs of prime numbers less than 20 whose sum is divisible by 5. Hint. 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. 12. Fill in the blanks. A. A number which has only two factors is called a dash. B. A number which has more than two factors is called a dash. C. One is neither dash nor dash. D. The smallest prime number is dash. E. The smallest composite number is dash. F. The smallest even number is dash. 3.4. Tests for divisibility of numbers. Is the number 38 divisible by 2? By 4? By 5? By actually dividing 38 by these numbers, we find that it is divisible by 2, but not by 4 and 5. Let us see whether we can find a pattern that can tell us whether a number is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10 or 11. Do you think such patterns can be easily seen? Divisibility by 10 Charu was looking at the multiples of 10. The multiples are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and so on. She found something common in these numbers. Can you tell what? Each of these numbers has zero in the ones place. She thought of some more numbers with zero at ones place like 100, 1000, 3200, 7010. She also found that all such numbers are divisible by 10. She finds that if a number has zero in the ones place, then it is divisible by 10. Can you find out the divisibility rule for 100? Divisibility by 5. Money found some interesting pattern in the numbers 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 and so on. Can you tell the pattern? Look at the units place. All these numbers have either 0 or 5 in their 1's place. We know that these numbers are divisible by 5. Money took up some more numbers that are divisible by 5 like 105, 215, 6205, 3500. Again, these numbers have either 0 or 5 in their 1's places. He tried to divide the numbers 23, 56, 97 by 5. Will he be able to do that? Check it. He observes that a number which has either 0 or 5 in its 1's place is divisible by 5. Other numbers leave a remainder. Is 1750125 divisible by 5? Is 17,50,125 divisible by 5? Divisibility by 2. Charu observes a few multiples of 2 to be 10, 12, 14, 16 and so on. And also numbers like 2,410, 4,356, 1,358, 2,972. 5,974. She finds some pattern in the one's place of these numbers. Page 55. Can you tell that? These numbers have only the digits 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 in the one's place. She divides these numbers by 2 and gets remainder 0. She also finds that the numbers 2,467, 4,829 are not divisible by 2. These numbers do not have 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 in their 1's place. Looking at these observations, she concludes that a number is divisible by 2 if it has any of the digits 0, 2, 
four, six or eight in its one's place. Divisibility by three. Are the numbers 21, 27, 36, 54, 219 divisible by three? Yes, they are. Are the numbers 25, 37, 260 divisible by three? No. Can you see any pattern in the one's place? We cannot, because numbers with the same digit in the one's place can be divisible by three, like 27, or may not be divisible by three, like 17, 37. Let us now try to add the digits of 21, 36, 54, and 219. Do you observe anything special? 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, 3 plus 6 is equal to 9, 5 plus 4 is equal to 9, 2 plus 1 plus 9 is equal to 12. All these additions are divisible by 3. Add the digits in 25, 37, 260. We get 2 plus 5 is equal to 7, 3 plus 7 is equal to 10, 2 plus 6 plus 0 is equal to 8. These are not divisible by 3. We say that if the sum of the digits is a multiple of 3, then the number is divisible by 3. Is 7221 divisible by 3? Divisibility by 6. Can you identify a number which is divisible by both 2 and 3? One such number is 18. Will 18 be divisible by? 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6? Yes, it is. Find some more numbers like 18 and check if they are divisible by 6 also. Can you quickly think of a number which is divisible by 2 but not by 3? Now, for a number divisible by 3 but not by 2? One example is 27. Is 27 divisible by 6? No. Try to find numbers like 27. From these observations, we conclude that if a number is divisible by 2 and 3 both, then it is divisible by 6 also. Divisibility by 4. Can you quickly give 5 3 digit numbers divisible by 4? One such number is 212. Think of such 4 digit numbers. One example is 1,936. Observe the number formed by the ones and tens places of 212. It is 12, which is divisible by 4. For 1,936, it is 36, again divisible by 4. Try the exercise with other such numbers, for example with 4,612, 3,516, 9,532. Is the number 286 divisible by 4? No. Is 86 divisible by 4? No. So, we see that a number with 3 or more digits is divisible by 4 if the number formed by its last two digits, that is 1s and 10s, is divisible by 4. Page 56. Check this rule by taking 10 more examples. Divisibility for one or two digit numbers by four has to be checked by actual division. Divisibility by eight. Are the numbers 1000, 2104, 1416 divisible by eight? You can check that they are divisible by eight. Let us try to see the pattern. Look at the digits at ones, tens and hundreds place of these numbers. These are 000, 104 and 416 respectively. These two are divisible by 8. Find some more numbers in which the number formed by the digits at units, tens and hundreds place, that is last three digits, is divisible by 8. For example, 9216, 8216, 7216, 10216, 
99,95,216, etc. You will find that the numbers themselves are divisible by 8. We find that a number with 4 or more digits is divisible by 8 if the number formed by the last 3 digits is divisible by 8. Is 73,512 divisible by 8? The divisibility for numbers with 1, 2 or 3 digits by 8 has to be checked by actual division. Divisibility by 9 The multiples of 9 are 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54 and so on. There are other numbers like 4,608, 5,283 that are also divisible by 9. Do you find any pattern when the digits of these numbers are added? 1 plus 8 is equal to 9. 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. 4 plus 6 plus 0 plus 8 is equal to 18. 5 plus 2 plus 8 plus 3 is equal to 18. All these sums are also divisible by 9. Is the number 758 divisible by 9? No. The sum of its digits 7 plus 5 plus 8 is equal to 20 is also not divisible by 9. These observations lead us to say that if the sum of the digits of a number is divisible by 9, then the number itself is divisible by 9. Divisibility by 11. The numbers 308, 1331 and 61809 are all divisible by 11. We form a table and see if the digits in these numbers lead us to some pattern. We have a table with four columns. Column 1 says number. Column 2 says sum of the digits at odd places from the right. Column 3 says sum of the digits at even places from the right and column 4 says difference. Number 308 sum of the digits at odd places from the right. 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. Sum of the digits at even places from the right. 0. Difference 11 minus 0 is equal to 11. Number 1331. Sum of the digits at odd places from the right. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. Sum of the digits at even places from the right. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Difference. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Number 61809. Sum of the digits at odd places from the right, 9 plus 8 plus 6 is equal to 23. Sum of the digits at even places from the right, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. Difference, 23 minus 1 is equal to 22. We observe that in each case, the difference is either 0 or divisible by 11. All these numbers are also divisible by 11. For the number 5081, the difference of the digits is 5 plus 8 minus 1 plus 0 is equal to 12, which is not divisible by 11. The number 5081 is also not divisible by 11. Page 57. Thus, to check the divisibility of a number by 11, the rule is, find the difference between the sum of the digits at odd places from the right and the sum of the digits at even places from the right of the number. If the difference is either 0 or divisible by 11, then the number is divisible by 11. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by C-I-E-T-N-C-E-R-T New Delhi, India